with your two different branches of qualified retirement plans. The first type is going to be a profit sharing plan and the second type is going to be a pension plan. Pension plans are retirement plans that are qualified by the Internal Revenue Code in which they are promising or your employer is going to promise that at the point at which you retire, they're going to pay you a certain benefit for the rest of your living life. That is a pension plan, okay? With a profit sharing plan, that's when the second branch of um, retire qualified retirement plan is when this type of plan is also qualified by Internal Revenue Code Section 401A, and it states that you can pretty much invest your money in seven different types of uh, plan options, and you can expect that the employee and the employer will share in their profits of contributing toward this retirement goal or this retirement account. This is when you'll see employers and employees setting up tax advantage options for their cash and income deferral options where they're putting money aside both parties are putting their income to the side and they're taking advantage of tax credits in the present and the future because of their participation in this particular retirement plan that is what they call profit sharing because both the employer's profits the business's profits and your personal income your personal profits are going to be invested into this account for the benefit of your retirement. The difference between the two is that with a profit sharing plan, there's no promise or guarantee of a certain amount when you exit the workforce. With a pension plan, there is a promise of an exact benefit or an exact um, contribution that you can expect to get for the rest of your life. With the profit sharing, it's more so up to the contributions that you choose or the investments that you choose and the risk that is taken on with your personal situation it's it's up to chance with those type of with those type of retirement accounts however with proper planning they can be extremely advantageous for people who are using retirement planning and that's why we're here today all right so moving forward we're going to get into the different types of profit sharing plans and the different types of pension plans